Well, good morning, St. Francis. It's Father Jeff on Sunday, August the 16th, and it is the 11th Sunday after Pentecost. Well, you know that during uh, the last five weeks or so, our children have been participating in uh, our annual vac uh, vacation Bible school this year online. And, and I have set up a train set because we're talking about staying on track with Jesus and the imagery is all around trains and engines and stuff like that. You may have seen some of the program. And so this is the Imagination Station, which I'll be doing um, three uh, weeks of, uh, of uh, teaching and maybe some magic for the, for the kids to enjoy. So that's why I left it on the altar. And, and you know that the Sunday after Vacation Bible School anyways, we always have the altar adorned with all the things that the kids have done throughout uh, the Vacation Bible School. So we're going to begin with the uh, grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the collect for the 11th Sunday after Pentecost, the Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have broken the tyranny of sin and sent into our hearts the spirit of your Son. Give us grace to dedicate our freedom to your service, that all people may know the glorious liberty of the children of God. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I'll invite you to join with me in the confession and absolution. Dear friends in Christ, God is steadfast in love, infinite in mercy. He welcomes sinners and invites us to his table. Let us confess our sins confident in God's forgiveness. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join with me in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now may the peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this day and always.